Hey everyone, this is Trendcrave here, and in today's video we're going to be going through the part 2 of the top 5 creepiest places that YouTubers have explored. You guys absolutely love part 1, so I figured why not milk the subject and do part 2, so that's how we got here today, but I don't know if you guys just really like the scary or spooky type videos in general, or if it's just because it's really close to Halloween. Let me know if you want to see more scary videos and uh, what those top 5 or top 10s would be. Anyway, so before we get into this top 5, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could leave a like on the video because I'm desperate for likes, uh, please. And also, I'm doing a giveaway right now. It's a $150 Amazon gift card giveaway. I'll leave a link to that down in the description. I'll be starting up another one here soon. Just make sure you're ready for it. All you got to do for that one is subscribe to the channel and turn on the push notifications, uh, that little bell button right next to the subscribe button, and you'll be entered. Regarding that $150 Amazon gift card giveaway, though, uh, that is ending sometime today. I don't know fucking when because I'm commentating this a day beforehand, and I don't know if it's even fucking end by now. That'd be really awkward. Anyways, though, let's go ahead and get into this top five. And in the number five spot, we've got kind of a spooky one, and this guy decided he was going to go and explore an abandoned mine shaft or tunnel or whatever. The mine that he went into is called the Horton Mine, and after he was in there for a while, you know, went into the tunnel a little bit, all of a sudden, these chains that were hanging from the ceiling uh, just started moving by themselves, and he didn't touch them or anything. Here's a shot looking back towards the entrance. I'm a little bit further in, and uh, looking down the tunnel here. I don't know why that one chain is swinging back there. Yeah, this mine definitely has a very spooky vibe to it. So I'm gonna head back out. The number five spot is actually kind of a two-part thing because actually a year after this happened with the whole chain thing, he went back to explore this mine again because he decided that, you know, he wanted a little bit more of it. And when he went inside this time, a little ways in, all of a sudden a radio turned on. He did what pretty much any person would fucking do. He just bolted the hell out of there. Okay, here's a final parting shot of the end of the Horton Tunnel. And uh, there's the uh, ore pass with all the cascading water and um what the fuck is that? Moving on to number four, we've got a YouTuber called Yusuf Amadi, and I'm not really sure if I said his name right, but he was exploring an abandoned house with a friend, and all of a sudden things kind of took a turn for the worse because they discovered something that was a little bit unusual. They stumbled across what looks to be like blood, I guess, and then I'm not going to spoil the rest of the surprise, but there's one little thing I need to say for this entire top five, not just this little clip, but I'm not really sure which ones of these are fake or real because, well, uh, you can't really tell for sure most of the time, and I'm sure, without a doubt, some of these are fake. If not, all of them can be fake, but you guys are just here to see some scary shit, so who really gives a fuck? Feel free, though, in the comment section to critique these however you feel like, and, and figure out which ones are real or not if you care that much about it. To be honest with you, I, I can't be fucking bothered, so feel do whatever you want. I don't know that someone threw something from up there or some shit. <laughs> Should we try and go in? Hey. That room has six nails locked in there. Oh, is that blood? Show me your top one. Is that blood? Heading over to number three, we've got a YouTube channel called Urbex Cribs, and they're a smaller YouTube channel that does this kind of stuff. They've only got 1,800 subscribers, so definitely go over and check those guys out. But they were exploring an abandoned pub, and you know, the pub, the whole part of that wasn't really that crazy. It was just kind of some scary, like, abandoned shit. But when they went down the stairs uh, to the cellar area, that's when things got really fucked up, and it got really fucked up 
very quickly. They found a super creepy satanic ritual area down there, and there was a chair that appeared to have blood on it. Uh, I think there was a pentagram under that chair, and then there was a couple crosses on the wall. If I had to say this, it's probably the craziest satanic ritual-like spot that I put in one of these scary or creepy videos of mine. Oh my god. We're literally going down a cellar of an abandoned pool. What the hell? Oh my god, holy shit, what is this? Wow, this, oh my fucking god, it stinks. <coughs> oh, um, I, 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 the hell? hell? I, there's, there's literally a chair, it looks like there's blood on it, in front of this devil sign. I think it's on a devil cross as well. I think the chair is sitting on a devil cross. What the hell now? Yeah, I'm going, I'm going, I swear to God, I'm going. Fuck, fuck this. I swear to God, I'm out. Moving on to number two, we've got a video from a YouTuber called Vjamind. He decided to go and explore some haunted woods with some friends, and obviously it went wrong because it's gotta go wrong to be creepy and scary, but according to the description of his video, he apparently went to a place called the Epping Forest, which is well known by serial killers, for dumping their victims' bodies. I'm not really sure if that's 100% correct or anything like that. If I was a good top five or 10 YouTuber, I'd go ahead and look that up on Wikipedia or some shit like that, but let's be honest, that's not happening. Also, I'm pretty sure that this one is fake. It just gives off that vibe to me, and I think it is, uh, but I'm not 100% sure. And regardless if it is fake or not, it's still really entertaining and pretty intense. There's a light fucking down there, bro. Huh? No, he's sleeping, he's on, on this guy. He's on this. Try to wake him up. I'll wake him up. You need to get out. Okay? I, no, no, pull up your jeans. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run now. If anything happens, I'm running it's straight. Yo, I know he's a nitty, but he's. Bro, bro. He's got no fucking head. What do you mean? He's gonna... Oh, fuck. It's a bit, it's oh, a bit. shit. Are you doing a fucking axe on this as well? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> what do you mean? Shut up, bro. What? Oh, right, uh, who the fuck are you, bro? Hey, no, fuck off. Fuck off. Hey, yo, oh, Alex, guys. leave him, man. What are you doing? He's oh. he's my friend. Huh? He's he's my friend. Why do you have a fucking mop? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Yo, excuse me. Yo. Oh, whoa. Oh, shit. That's. What the fuck, bruv? What the fuck is he doing? What the fuck was that, bruv? Oh, yo, dip out from here, man. Oh, he dip, dip, dip. Is that him? Oh, oh, fuck! I did it! What the fuck? What the fuck is he doing? What the fuck is he doing? What are you doing? And finally, in the number one spot, we've got one that actually kind of surprised me because when I was putting this list together, I didn't mean to do this, but the person who had like the number one spot in the part one video of this is actually in the number one spot on this video, and that is This Is Dan Bull. And so definitely go check him out because it seems like he puts out some really scary shit, but he was in a 1920s apartment building that was abandoned, and it was nighttime, and he was there by himself. And like I said last video, if you go and explore these things at nighttime by yourself, You've got a fucking giant dick or something like that. But while he was inside of the building, he eventually came across a drug deal and he was scared shitless, needless to say that, and eventually got out of there as quickly as he could once the coast was clear. But there were a couple comments on his video saying, you know, it's probably not a smart idea to go down in that part of town at night because he's in a really shitty part of the town, considering that there were some gunshots earlier in the video that I could hear. Is there anybody up here?
Those are all the clips that I have for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video. Let's try to break 7,500 likes. That'd be insanely awesome. I'd really appreciate that, you guys. Also, make sure to comment down below and tell me which one of these you thought was the creepiest. Let me know which ones you thought were real and which ones were fake. And also, tell me if you ever explored a really creepy or scary abandoned place and if something's happened to you while you're exploring it. Maybe you got caught by the police and got caught for trespassing or some shit like that. Or you found someone living on the property. Let me know about it. I'm just curious to hear about your uh, situations that you've gotten into. Also, make sure to go ahead and check out the last video that I posted. It was the top five dumbest reasons that kids got suspended from school. I'll leave it in the outro screen, but for now, I'll see you guys later. Chabang, bitches.